a monkey, George. You're just not used to kindergarten. <laughs> George wanted to be a monkey who was good at kindergarten. What could he do? Now, castles weren't just for kings and queens. Butlers, maids, cooks, and carpenters lived in them, too. Lots of people lived in castles. Oh, I've always thought it would be fun to live in a castle, high on a hill overlooking the ocean. In fact, I would like each of you to draw a castle that you would like to live in. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> yes, Allie. Um, what if we would rather live in a submarine? Then you draw a submarine. Oh, uh, now I have to go talk to the janitor. I'll be right outside if you need me. Huh. George had an idea. Instead of drawing a castle, why not build one? Mm. A castle for Mrs. Gold to live in. Oh -ha! Oh -ha! <laughs> what you doing, George? What's he doing? Wow. George, what oh -ha! <laughs> oh, you want to build a castle for Mrs. Gold? Maybe castles weren't allowed in kindergarten. Maybe he should ask. The bookshelves, the water, not a problem. But sand in a carpet, that's a problem. Uh, Mrs. Gold, George wants to know if he can build a castle instead of draw one. Uh, uh, sh sure, sure. I I'll be right there. Let me tell you about carpets. First, you got your shags. Then there's your it's okay, area George. family, uh, which is divided into the short pile and the deep pile. It's not easy building a castle. But George found a way. <laughs> With bookshelves and blocks for walls. And a curtain for the roof. And every castle needed a window. George's school tool made a great construction level. At last, the castle was ready. All it needed was a tree. Yes, well, thank you. That was most informative. I'm sure it will look... <gasps> oh, my! It was George's idea, but we helped. When you said a castle, you meant a, a castle. Oh, this is wonderful! It's amazing what you can do when you use your imagination and work together and have a monkey to help you. Oh. <laughs> Yay for George! Yay for George! It was good being a guest monkey. But it was also good being a plain old regular monkey on his way home. I think there's a picture in this book. Here you go. See that blob? Huh? That's a germ. Oh. Some germs are good for you, but bad germs can make you sick. <laughs> well, that's your body. Your nose, mouth, Stomach? Okay. Those are your lungs. Uh. When you sneeze yes. or cough, uh. that's your lungs squeezing together and trying to force out the bad germs. Oh. <laughs> Enough biology. Time for you to rest. <laughs> George didn't want to rest. He wanted to get rid of his bad germ. If only he knew how. <laughs> ah. 
George saw a face. A face he had seen before. <laughs> In the mirror. It was him. George's mouth was amazing. It was like a giant cave. A cave with an echo. A squishy floor, which was actually his tongue. And best of all, a spaceship. George could find that bad germ and get rid of it. just as soon as he figured out how to work that spaceship. George was amazed. He didn't know Gnocchi could drive. knew they were somewhere above his mouth, but where? Yeah. Fortunately, Gnocchi had discovered a helpful sign. They were in George's nose. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And they weren't alone. You better look out, cause Toots is in town. I'm in your nose. Achoo, he's in your nose. I'm in your nose. Oh, yeah, he's I'll make you sniff it out, make you sneeze. You won't be smelling that smelly cheese. Down to your belly. Down, down. Mosey, I'm down to your belly. Look out, he's in your belly. So don't eat a thing, that's my suggestion. Cause I'll, I'll be giving, giving you indigestion. <laughs> Boring. Ah, ah. Bingo. Now for the paint. Sheesh, <laughs> that billboard is kind of high. George, how about you paint and I'll supervise from here, okay? Uh -huh. Don't forget the picture. When George got close to the billboard, he could see things he couldn't see from far away. Like the fact that the billboard wasn't just one big sheet of paper, but six sheets glued together. George, are you done? Uh-huh. Uh, George? Huh. Did you paint the picture on the billboard the same size as this? Uh-huh, uh -huh. Oh, that explains it. You painted too small. I'll show you. You can't see small stuff from far away. 
So George resolved to paint big. He'd cover every last inch of that billboard. Oh, hi, George. How'd you do? Huh? It looks like you painted only part of the picture. Did you run out of room? George wondered how he could get a small picture onto a big billboard. Then he noticed something. The full marks on the picture were just like the rectangles on the billboard. rectangles here with the rectangles there. That'll work. Here, I'll make it easier. Six rectangles. Paint one at a time and you're good to go. Ah! This time, George was sure he'd get it right. What? George, come down here quick. Some juicer you've got there. Second best invention in the world. The first is my tasty health drink. <laughs> I know these are delicious, but we should save the rest for later, George. Okay, I think that's later enough. Mm. Boy, that was tasty. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Huh. <laughs> right, let's go. Where'd everybody go? Everybody packed up and left already. Huh? But don't worry, they'll be back next week. Oh? Uh. A whole week without juice? What was George going to do? You know, George, if we had our own juicer, we could make the drink ourselves. <gasps> There's a kitchen supply store right around the corner. Let's go. Yeah. Oh, boy. I have no idea how to use this, but when in doubt, read the instructions. Hmm. I guess there are no instructions. Oh, don't worry. Between a smart man and a smart monkey, we should be able to figure it out. Hello? What? Yeah, I'll, I'll be right there. Sorry, George. Professor Weissman needs me at the museum. They're picking a new shade of yellow for the main hall. I'll, I'll be back as soon as I can. Uh -huh. Ooh, hey. George figured a smart monkey all by himself should be able to work this thing. What did Juicy J say he put in that drink? It's got five fruits and vegetables, plus a special secret ingredient. Five fruits and vegetables, and all of them seem to be red. Mm. Apples are red, and peppers, and strawberries, Ooh. and watermelons.
George didn't know what cabbage was, but it was the last red thing in the fridge. Five red things. Oh. Now all George needed was a special ingredient. Ah. <laughs> oh. A red fish? Ah. Why not? Okay, so maybe raw fish is not a special juice ingredient. Lake Wanasink Lake is a very popular place in the summer. Ah! <laughs> Wait for me! <laughs> and on a really hot day, George's little legs couldn't get him to the end of the dock fast enough. Oh, oh there! Oh. Where is he? <laughs> uh, we have a saying on the dock, son. Look! Before you leap. Huh? Hey, what happened to all the water? Well, the dry spells lowered the lake quite a bit, don't you know? Not a good time to dive off the dock, but a great time to waterproof it. That sounds like a big job. Do you want a hand? Well, if you're offering, I'm sure not saying no. <laughs> If the water was gone, <laughs> where were the fish? Uh, I don't know where they are. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, Mr. Yellow Pants, we have to go find the fish. <laughs> Okie doke. Be a good little monkey. Uh, and girl. <laughs> Lake so he can be with his family. Yeah. Honey, Sally just cracked a tooth and I have to take her to the vet. You want to come? Sorry, I'm in the middle of rescuing a fish. Oh, uh, well, I don't think Sally can wait. All right. Well, I'll come back as soon as I can. Bye. For some reason, the lonely little fish didn't want to be rescued by a monkey. Oh. Ah, smooth strokes, you see. Nice and thick, so's the water can't get in. Looks simple enough. Good. Fill your bucket, and you can start over there. Where's, where's my bucket? Well, you forgot where you put it already? I, um, hmm, that's odd. Fish wanted nothing to do with monkeys or buckets. <coughs> if only there wasn't so much dirt, the fish could swim to the big lake all by himself. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> 